Good afternoon. My name is Alina Shatsova. I am an immigration attorney from Brooklyn, New York. In today's legal speaking seminar, I would like to talk to you about alternatives to detention programs that are administrated by ICE. Uh, you're probably familiar, or maybe you've heard, that there is such a program is called Order of Supervision. When somebody who has an order of removal uh, or deportation, uh, rather than being physically removed out of the United States, is allowed to stay in the United States, but will have to check in every so often with ICE officers. And an ICE, or ICE officer will determine how often the person has to come in and check in with them. It used to be that uh, once once a year was a very normal time that the person would have to come and check in and recently the terms uh, are being changed and usually it's six months or maybe even every three months why the person is allowed to stay in the united states even though they're ordered removed well it may be for a variety of reasons for example a person uh, is a national of a country uh, that does not accept currently its nationals the person does not have and cannot obtain a travel document or a person is working on their immigration status currently. It can be anything, any, any one of those factors, or maybe there is something else. The point is the person will have to be under ICE supervision, will have to comply with the program terms, and will have to, um, will have to come in for checkups, check-ins. Um, can the person be arrested during this time? Of course, the person can be arrested during this time. In my practice, this has never happened, but I've heard in the news and other lawyers say that it can happen. Why it happens? Well, it happens because technically you're already deported. You have an order of deportation against you. And if you do not file for something to stop that physical deportation, uh, like um, administrative stay of removal application, right? Or something with courts, stay removal with courts, you may be subject to physical removal. So that's something to keep in mind. But this is a regular order of supervision. Regular order of supervision comes with a very, imp uh, very uh, important benefit: um, eligibility for an employment authorization, which is very, very important. There are other two varieties. First, uh, it's electronic monitoring system. Basically, it's a bracelet on your uh, ankle ankle bracelet that monitors you where you are at any given minute and you have to charge the bracelet you cannot remove the bracelet so that one of the things that can happen to somebody who is being supervised by ice there is one more variety it's called isap or intensive supervision program intensive supervision program it's when you have to check in very often let's say uh, once every two weeks and um, an officer, ICE officer, can come in to your home without notice and check in, check up on you. Also, there may be a phone calling system where you need to call at every um, specific time and, and, and report. So that's what an uh, ICE app is. It's also a form of supervision that ICE may uh, order um, for you to comply with. Why some people subject only to regular order of supervision and one and some people to ISAP or bracelet and can you switch between the programs well usually yes you can if uh, certain conditions are met or uh, you spoke to the supervisor your lawyer spoke to your supervisor and certain and, and, and the ice office agreed uh, to remove the bracelet for example right um or the there is a memo provided by ice that specifies when in which situations uh which program is more appropriate but basically it's possible to shift from one situation to another uh, and you can read more about this uh, situ situations you can read more about what to do if you have an order of supervision on our website www.shoutsova.com thank you